Welcome to another Type With Me. In this week episode, I want to talk about Festify with TypeScript. So if we go to the website of Festify.dev, you'll see some more info. Fastify is a fast and low overhead web framework for Node.js. So let's get started. So one of the things that I want to test out is to use Bun. Uh, it's um, same as uh, Node, but um, faster, better. So if we do Bun in it, we get here same as Node in it. So here we go, and it creates automatically an index.ts already. So if I now do Bun dot get hello fire burn of course now we need to install fastify here we go fastify has been installed now we can start using it. And I think you will find that it's a very easy way of working. So Fastify from this import, Fastify from Fastify. Then we have our app that we are creating. And then we can listen to where it's a certain port and a host, right? And then we just call main. can now create a health check page to very easily test it out and see if it's working. All right, so now I'm going to um, save this. I'm going to change this file to where it's app. And I also need to see here my module would be app. If I now do run run app, yes, you'll see that we have. our app running, right? So let's test this out and see what it is in the browser. If you now go to localhost 8000 slash health check, you get message success, which is great. So uh, graceful shutdown is something that's uh, wonderful within um, our application. So if we want to shut down our application, you can just go over this and try to yeah, close the application, right? So that's the code to do so. We have our listener, si, uh, sich int and sich term, and then we can just loop over them. And with process.on, we can just close it much easier. I'm just going to run it. I'm going to close it. So here we go. So now I'm going to create a new file user route. Yes. Add here this lines of code. See here that we have user routes where we can provide a Fastify instance and then you can very easily create your um, your REST APIs. 
slash slash re register slash login slash logout so it create and then of course here we can i guess uh, do user routes Then we can import that. So here we go. But there is a better way to do it. Uh, it's this way. And now we can say that everything is act, um, after API slash users is the user routes that we have right here. So that's a better way to do it. We now run our app again. Yeah, well, it's important to put here app.register user routes. So if you do it at the end of it here, it will not work. You need to do it directly after creating your app here. Then you need to register it. And if we then go to that page, you will see that we will get what we want to get. He is returning route hit here, right? So that's great. It's working and that's what we want. So next thing that we can do is install new dependencies. I'm going to install Zot and fastify fastify Zot. So it's going to install that, and we need to have something like this: user dot schema. Yes, right. All right. So we can now add this code here. We can very easily create some schemas. So here create user schema z dot object email string password is a string minimum of six characters and name is a string. Create a user input, something that we could do. Create a user response schema, the login schema. Email is required and email must be a string and we have our password which is the or needs to have a minimum of six characters then here we have built json schemas right now within app.ts we need to register these schemas so we can do that with this part of course we need to import it and then we can say for every schema we can do app.add schema schema right of course i need to save this i also need to save this right and now when we go to um our user route when you have here register and login we can change it so that we will have something like this of course we need to import it from user schema so within user schema, we had something like this. Oh yeah, we have this. Yeah. Uh, 
And so we can very easily say, okay, schema body ref create a user schema and the other one is uh, response create a user response schema, right? So with this, you can have some kind of a validation. And I think it's a great thing to have when you're creating your APIs. Of course, we can then uh, here add some functionality so that we can get the user schema and write it down to a, a database. Um, it's not something that I'm going to show right here, but it's I think a nice thing that you can do on your own to see if you can uh, create a, a great application. But this is the first steps to create a great, um, yeah, bun um, server side application, right? Of course, you can do this with Node as well, or just write down, or just try to use uh, Node together with TypeScript. But for me, it's very easy that I can use uh, TypeScript directly with Bun and having all the rest of the superpowers of Node.js. I think it's a very great extra that you can have or can do. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.